And now at 5.30, for nearly a year now, we have kept our commitment to bringing you stories about why mentoring really matters. We often talk about the benefits of inspiring a young person, but today we introduce you to a South Florida professor who is sharing some of the realities of being a mentor. Like everything, it certainly has its ups and downs. Here's CBS4 anchor Rick Fulbaum. Whatever it is that you're going to bestow on the world, Dr. William Ashanti Hobbs is a professor at Florida Memorial University in Miami Gardens. He loves to teach English and writing to college students, but after spending time with him, you quickly learn mentoring is what's truly in his heart. It started with my younger brother, and I went to Florida A&M University in Tallahassee. He was like, you can't leave. You can't leave. And I'm like, you know, I got to go to school. So I was always rushing to get my own place and set something up so he could be with me. He couldn't wait. He started selling drugs in order to get his own apartment and be his own man, as he would say. And within about four months of me getting my own place, they found his car at a local mall. Um, the keys were on the dashboard. It smelled like bleach. And no one's ever heard of him since. It's been 22 years now. Ever since then, Dr. Hobbs has made it his mission to mentor young people. Especially with black males. Whenever I see one slipping through the cracks, I see my brother. He's in a lot of what I do. Dr. Hobbs first started mentoring while teaching at Virginia State University. They got me uh, hooked up with this little kid who was just amazing. And I had a year's experience with him and his family. Uh, made a huge impact, uh, still in touch with him to this day. And, you know, we moved back here to Florida, but it stayed with me. The experience touched his heart so much that it inspired him to write North of the Grove. In the book, he reveals the challenges of mentoring a young boy living in the inner city. The book is part of the Miami-Dade School's curriculum. He was this middle-class man telling this little boy, you don't have to fight all the time. Uh, you know, use your wits, talk. And the little boy is like, you don't understand where I'm from. No one talks. Dr. Hobbs admits it can be messy at times. The mother's like, y'all can't come back yet. They're shooting outside. Oh, and you can hear it in the background. And you're sitting up there stunned, sitting. We were at the gas station, and I'm sitting there, I didn't even know what to do. I'm just, and the kid's like, what's wrong with you? Like this, I've never seen anything like this. This is life. What are you talking about? Oh, it's an eye opener. Hobbs hopes potential mentors can learn from his experiences in the book and still be willing to give back. You can save lives, seriously, just by stepping beyond your own just a little bit. Rick Fulbaum, CBS4 News. Dr. Hobbs is currently working to share his book, North of the Grove, with other schools in hopes of spreading the mentoring message. What a tremendous mm -hmm. job he is Incredible doing, right? how these mentors, mentoring affects their lives just as much as it affects their mentee's and life. He's helping so many young people. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful to see. And for information how you can become a mentor, head over to our website, cbsmiami.com slash mentoring matters. We have a whole list of organizations that can answer questions and help you get involved with mentoring and tell us about mentors in your life. Email us at mentoringmatters at cbs.com.